Hello, welcome to Skilled Stars, it's Callum here, and I am going to be showing you another mod called Red Power. In this episode I'm going to be showing you uh, lights, well lamps, and a new form of pretty much what redstone is. I will show you that first. Right, you will need to make uh, what is called an alloy furnace, I think. Yep, and that's simply made by tr obtaining s uh, obtaining some clay uh, and getting bricks, and then just simply putting bricks like a chest and what a furnace would be, round like that to make an alloy furnace. Just have to. In the alloy furnace, you're going to want to put some coal there, some redstone there, and some iron ingots or bronze ingots because they're, no not bronze sorry, copper and I think others as well will go well with this uh, just because bronze, uh, I keep saying bronze now copper is included in red power and it helps lots uh, to help make these stuff that which I will need at the same time you're going to want to cook um, about say 16 uh, stone, normal stone, not cobblestone, because it makes um, uh, these things called da, 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 stone wafers. Now, some red alloy ingots should be done. So, with the red alloy ingots, you just want to put them like that. And then you get red alloy wire. Like redstone, it uses, it passes electrical currents main good or well, two main good things about this is that you are able to uh, just use one redstone torch and it will go forever the other good thing if you place it you can just put it straight up walls and on the ceiling and then just get rid of it when you're done now stone wave are used for different things like timers and um, uh, sequencers. They're the main two that I know and will be showing you today. They are really annoying uh, to make, but trust me, I believe it's worth it. Right, so once you've got stone and... Uh, uh, stone wafers, sorry. Uh, the first basic things you're going to need is redstone stone wafers to make just simple stone wires. Then you're going to need to make a stone pointer, which is used with stone wafer. I just might spawn some in. It's taking a long time to cook. There, some more. Uh, stone wafer, redstone torch, and redstone. Da, da, da thing I failed there. Uh stone, sorry. Uh oh great, it's raining outside. Just what I wanted. No rain. Right. Once you have these, uh you also need to make uh what I kind of showed you a second ago. Some stone cathodes, I think that is, was it? Or oh, cathode, sorry. Um and you're going to need to put them in different forms for different things. Whoops, used all the stone wafers, that wasn't good. Right. First of all, for a sequencer, you want to put them in this formation. And then stone pointer there. For a sequencer. For a timer, uh, you're going to need some other things, but you're going to need another pointer. Um, and some like, wait, let me just show you, a stone, ah, stone anode, which is helpful. So you're going to want to put them like this. Uh, just hopefully you're not going to run out of stone wires like I just did. Right, so you need a stone cathode and then a stone pointer. So then you get a timer. Right, let me just get rid of all the this crap, which I don't need. Right, 
here you have a stone timer and a sequencer. Now, you have this and uh, some uh, wire, but you have nothing to um, use it on, so you're going to want to make lamps. So let's use these. Duh, duh, duh. Right. Okay, let's take 16. Oops. And then. This makes a blue lumar, which is needed for the um, lamps. Then let's use some. This to get black lumar. Um, put that there. White lumar, and then red lumar. Let's get rid of crap I don't need again. Uh, right, we're gonna need analyzer. Um, right, with uh the lumars, you want to put them down the middle. Whoops, one minute. And you're going to need glass. So if you just stick that down the middle and then glass either side like this and then as long as you don't fail like I just did because I always fail at making this sort of stuff as you may know uh, right what I failed is that you need redstone there so it doesn't have to all be lumar and glass then you get blue lamps and then just get some red, red lamp, white, white lamp, and then so on. Right. With these, you can make a different range of things, as I will show you now. Here is just a simple white background with a red face. There, it's all lit up. And if I activate that, and then turn that off, this is a timer. As it is set to two seconds, it will flash. Ugh, lag. If I put it to about five seconds, and it's obviously much slower, then it'll just flash. This is pretty much what it looks like from behind. Uh, there's all this redstone on bits of stone, but what I found out is if you uh, went to put it on, like, just say this was red on there, it now will do all of that when it flashes. So if we wait for it to flash again. There. And now these four lit up white, but we don't want that. So you have to put it on bits of stone around the outside. Over here, I have used some insulated wires. I will show you how to do that in a minute. And if I get a sequencer and place it there, as you can see here, the lights just pretty much, well, I'll show you up here. This just goes round and then you can set it on the timer so I can put it to one second. And then it's different because it alter, al uh, alternates. And so then these change colour. It's quite effective. Now let me show you uh, how to make insulated uh, wires. Right, you're going to need any colour wall that you want your wires to be, so let's just go blue and red, like I used out there. Stick it like this, and then you get 12 red insulated wires, and then the same again, but with any colour wall, so let's use blue, unless I don't fail again. Blue. And then, as you will see, if you stuck let me just make it sunrise if you stuck blue like that and then red along the side as you can see they don't join if it was normal wire like this it joins and makes like an 8 the reason is this is because it's insulating the actual wires inside the colour and if you stick them like this they still won't join so what you need to do is if you want them to join you use a normal red one 
so it connects them together and then it looks like that and then you can uh, use this so as you can see here these aren't joining and I'll put it to here so they can connect to a sequencer but you can't just use like the if you see here just get rid of that look now I've put the blue the oh I was proven wrong when I first did this uh, it didn't work so now if it works then oh fair enough then it probably was just me oh well obviously you don't need to use the normal red alloy wire as much well this has been the skilled soul showing you uh, part one of red power uh, I think I might try and work out what all of these do and you show you project tables buffers and blue electric furnace whatever that is and show you how to do all these lit like covers sort of thing it makes them just much thinner and it is actually quite cool to just build what you want and then you can build like a little fence thing out of glass even though they now have introduced glass panes but uh voice one then uh, glass panes but this that's going to be in uh, future episodes so thanks for watching and all I can think to say is now is please subscribe